Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. I'm in Burbank, California right now, about to head on over to a movie screening or some sort of event. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on what it's all about. I think it's about like VHS collectors and having some sort of commentary like, you know, Mystery Science Theater style. Not 100% sure, but I'm here with a couple of the crew members right now and we're about to head on, head on over there. And we we may be hitting up a party in Hollywood later if it all works out correctly but I gotta ask my friends what this whole screening thing really is all right assholes oh, like, where the hell where the hell are we going right now we're going over to see a couple nerds called the nerds that present found footage festival all right I'm here with I'm here with my buddy Dante and my homeboy Aaron and Sean C. Fit. No, hell, your name's Sean P., right? <laughs> all right, man, how Sean you... Sean P. Phillips over there. Okay, yeah. How you doing, man? I'm all right. All right, man, just, you, you, hey. you, you don't hang around parks, do you? No, hey, not Sean, yet. Okay. This is to Sean C. Phillips. You thought you were cool? Right there. You ain't got shit on Sean P. Phillips! <laughs> yeah. No, but, I know, okay. but okay, tell the people what we're about to do. What we're about to do is go see the two nerds present the, their 10th installment the tour around the nation uh -huh. of the Found Footage Festival, which it is, is a culmination of the most ridiculous, absurd, insulting, disgusting, hilarious stuff that idiots thought they had the right to put on VHS back in the 80s. So and, what, what is this thing the, called? It's called the Found Footage Festival. And to, to add to what he's saying, um, they get all their material from like thrift stores and swap meets and stuff like that. Goodwill. Okay. The most absurd, they have to have it. So we're, we're going here to watch guys commentate on like weird cringy videos? From the 80s uh, and 90s. A collection of oddities, the likes of which you've never seen. Okay, let's do this. Alright guys, we're in the car right now uh, with Sean C. I mean, what's up man? <laughs> we're, you're, you're looking through a yearbook right now and you, you went to school with Aaron, huh? Yeah. I went Did you find a picture of him in here? And is this like his... Uh, was this like what your high school? Well, this when we were seniors, so it would have been eighteen or something. You're eighteen, okay? Where's the picture of Aaron at? Oh, right here. Oh Jesus Christ, that's Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> this is him right here with the fucking, the long like. Were you? Wait, were you a, a girl back then and you turned into a guy? Well, I, yeah, I, I put my pubic hairs right here just to <laughs> make me look like a guy. So, so like, what, you went to? Hold on, come on, focus, focus, dude. You went to school like that? <laughs> did, did you get beat up a lot or anything or fuck no i was a big guy yeah so that's what aaron looks like in high school we're in the car right now at this little baby target in burbank hey, well, why don't you show him dante's yeah i know we're, we're gonna show you guys dante's picture in a second <laughs> wait where's dante again it's right here oh he's right here at the very end yeah whoa hold on wait a minute so dante actually had hair <laughs> so dante did you find the perfect socks yeah i did you did are oh, they gonna fit at 12 15. 12 15, okay. Hey, Dante, yes. you know what we've been doing uh, in the car while we're waiting for you to shop for your socks? Uh, we're reminiscing about your old high school days. Oh, have you? You know, back in the day when you and Aaron actually had a lot of hair? <laughs> Homeboy? Dante, what are you doing? Bro? Okay, he's getting ready for tonight, eh? Why are you brushing your teeth in the car? Yeah, why is he brushing his teeth in the car? I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't know you were, I didn't know you were a fucking this spitter. This is entertaining to you people? What the heck? I, I guess, Aaron, your friends are spitters? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not him. <laughs> not Sean P. Phillips. Uh, Sean P. Phillips? Yeah. You're, you're, are you a spitter? Oh, you, you swallow? <laughs> spitter swallow. So what do you do? You take it to the face? <laughs> well, dude, what are you doing? You put your socks on now? Yeah, put some of these socks. They're undersized too. Oh, uh, uh, they're not. They're no, not. I just have to do this stuff on my own. So you, 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 what, you want us to put your socks on for you? That would be nice. You do that. So is that what we do? We just pull off on the side of the road. You brush your teeth. You, you change your socks. Well, like, you know. bro, we're trying to get to a club. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, you guys are the ones taking so long to get there. Okay. I'm just occupying my time in the process. Hey, excuse me, sir. You want to help my friend put his socks on? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. Well, I guess it's gonna be a sausage fest. We just picked up another dude. What's up, Jacob? Yo, I heard you, I heard you wanted another sausage, so here I am. Yeah, well, welcome to the club, sir. We got three sausages in the back and two sausages in the front. Extra large. Extra large sausages in the front. And uh, now we're ready to go to this lo first location of the day. So let's go, are you done brushing your teeth and do you need your, uh, 
your bald spot shined or anything? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Wax and shine. Who's yeah. Hey, Jacob, yeah. he was brushing his teeth in here, getting ready for you. Well, you know, you gotta, gotta do what yeah, you gotta you know, do to get pretty, ready. He's the prettiest of all of us. What do you expect? Oh, I know. Holy shit! What is going on, Aaron? There's a Batmobile. Yeah. There's, there's like a different, like... There's one coming up on your left, too. Is that the Batmobile right here? <laughs> uh, That's the only thing you see in Hollywood? Jesus! <laughs> we got like two Batmobiles on the street as we're going to our event right now. Finally made it into Highland Park to the found footage uh, festival or where it's going to be at and everything. So let's go on over and uh, see how this all turns out. Well, we finally made it to the venue and they have all these people lined up towards the back to get into the found footage festival. To be honest, I've never heard of this thing before and I didn't know it was as popular as it seems with all these people here. Well, Aaron, man, we're in line right now for the found footage fest out here in this little alley. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. I have, I have really no, no expectations, really. You know what I mean? You, show, you told me to watch like an hour-long video of something. I'm like, yeah, I don't have time for this. You're gonna like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it should be kind of cringy if it's something to do that you like and these other guys like. I'm sure it's gonna be kind of weird oh, yeah. and cringy. But like, I wasn't expecting this many people to to be back here. You know what I mean? I actually had no expectations, so I didn't really know how popular these guys are. But I don't know how many years it's been going on, but I, uh, I think Dante said 10 or something or more. Maybe, something like that. We'll but, find out when we get up there. Yeah, so let's head on in. Hey, Aaron, man, you ready for the show? Oh, hell yeah. All right, man, let's do this. <laughs> Hey Aaron, dude. Yeah. Now, now we're in the green room yeah. of this venue over here. There's like all these different artwork yeah. on the wall, and look at dude. There's even like something that kind of looks like a stick. <laughs> Some sort of like stick on the wall right there. Yeah, why don't you touch that, Dante? All right, guys, we're backstage right now in the green room with the guys from the Found Footage Festival and everything. These guys go around to local thrift stores, pawn shops, and find the weirdest, cringiest shit <laughs> and edit it together and put them on DVDs. It's kind of sort of like this wow. right here. You know, that, that you guys can get on their website and things, which their link will be down. You have a website you guys sell this on, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, foundfootagefest.com. Yeah, yeah, they have a website. You guys can get all that stuff down yeah. below. But what makes you, how did you guys come up with the idea to, like, you know, put all the cringiest stuff together and, like, put them out in the compilations and go on tour? Well, we're from a small town in Wisconsin. We've, we've known each other since we were in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. And we're from a small town, and there's not a lot to do in small towns. So you kind of have to invent your own fun. Mm -hmm. So that's what we Florida. did. That's why we started. This came from show. boredom. We were, we were really bored, uh, and we would just invite friends over and watch videos that we found at thrift stores and garage sales. Mm -hmm. And that was our. We would record stuff off of public access. We would get obsessed with it. We'd want to track down people. Nick worked at a McDonald's, mm -hmm. and he stole their training video. Which the training video is incredible. It's probably on that DVD actually. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. was Friday nights in Stoughton, Wisconsin. Was watching VHS videos in my parents' basement. And, yeah. si and since you guys do go around the you know thrift stores and things and try to look for like old weird VHSs, what is it like now compared to the, how it was in the eighties and nineties? Because now it's I know it's harder to find that stuff. Because I go out there all the time, find try to yeah. look for movies and things, but like to look for the weird cringy shit, it must be it gets must get harder and harder. It, it's year. tough now because like a lot of thrift stores won't even accept VHS. Mm -hmm. Like when people drop them off to donate it, they're like, no, these they just throw them in the landfill immediately. Mm -hmm. But like. You know, ten years ago, that was the golden age for us. Like, it would only cost a quarter, and we we had so much stuff. We were like a squirrel, like saving nuts for the winter. So we have ten. We have ten thousand videos that we haven't watched yet. So we're going through those little by little. We have enough to last us if the apocalypse hits tomorrow. Yeah, but, but no. we do uh, also have gotten more creative. So we go to estate sales. Somebody dies. All their VHS tapes are up for grabs. <laughs> we uh, keep our fingers crossed that somebody dies. And uh, we just check the obituary. <laughs> <laughs> and, we're ambulance and, and do you guys like you know film yourselves going to these places? Because I do the same sort of thing going to you know video stores and thrift stores. Yeah. Put it up on my YouTube channel. But do you guys like film you guys adventures going into these like weird? No, we don't. Shops? No, this is like yeah, it would not. Maybe we should. Yeah, Actually. just kind of run private hell. We haven't brought anybody into it. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that's a good idea. It'd be, it'd be kind of cool. But guys, they have this these DVD series out right now called the Found Footage Festivals Volume One through Eight, I believe. Through eight, yeah. we're working on nine right now. Yeah. And it's just some of the weirdest, cringy shit. This is the first time I've ever I, I met these guys and seen their seen their stuff that they put together, and 
It's some wacky shit. There's like guys like semi fucking chickens in these things. And I, I don't even know how. I don't remember that video. Well, we are. I mean, the guy. That's, like, that's a good sales pitch. Semi. Well, like semi. well, he played probably like a semi from Rumble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a dead sure chicken. Well, if not, it's not chicken. Not chickens and yeah. frisbees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I just want to say thanks, guys, for taking the time to, thanks, to talk absolutely. to us and everything. Thanks you for guys, having us on. Would you like to plug anything on here? Yeah, oh. we did DVDs, the hot new format. Uh, so we're really hoping to sell a lot of these. It's it's digital. It's a yeah, digital, digital format. Personal disc. Yeah, we have a show, a weekly show called VCR Party Tuesday nights. It's on YouTube and Facebook and all over the place. That's so, our new thing. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you guys check them out. The links will be down below. Thanks, guys. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. We're now in Hollywood and half the posse has uh, you know left for the night. But me and Aaron are now on the streets of Hollywood, heading on over to a party that started at nine or started at seven. That ends at 1, and it's about 11.30 now, so uh, let's head on over to this party, say hello to a couple of friends. Alright, Marin, man, we made it on over uh, to the party that's happening over here in Hollywood. You're looking for, like, extra beer? It looks like there's none left. I know, so we, we came towards the, the end of the, of the party, but there is some, uh, you know, liquor refreshments. Uh, and donuts. And donuts, from Voodoo, from Voodoo Donuts. Yeah, Voodoo Donuts. Yeah. There's a couple of my friends over here right now doing doing their thing, but the party's kind of winding down. We're like the last minute brothers uh, over here. How's the donut? Yeah. Eh. Yeah. I mean, it's good, you know. Have you ever had voodoo donuts before? I haven't. Yeah, me neither. Hey, Aaron, man, did you really just bust out the pipe at the party? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, in, we're in Hollywood. You gotta be original, right? Yeah, you gotta be original. Bust out the. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's it like a total hipster movie. Is it? Do we, I don't know. Is it? I don't know any hipsters that smoke, smoke tobacco. Wait, wait. Really? Bond you a little bit. a mirror? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm a hipster, but I guess I am. But aren't you a little too old to be a hipster? Aren't hipsters like people that are trying to act, uh, they're like in their 20s and shit? They're trying to act older? Yeah. How old are you? 42? Close. Uh, 25. Yeah. You know, I'm already at this other party right now with the man of the hour, Dante, man. If it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be doing these videos right here. But man, we're over here celebrating his engagement to the lovely Rebecca Cochin that you just got married to. She's over there. Yeah, she's over there in the yeah, white dress. You know, show her. conversing. She's, she's over right there somewhere. There, that pretty lady. Yeah, somewhere. that one. That one over there. But man, you guys were together for so long before that happened. Yes. Like, so, I, I think I knew you before you knew her. I, yeah, that's right. I've known you longer than her. Uh, yeah. She and I have been together 11 years, and you and I have probably known each other, what, like, 12, 15? Something, something like that. Something like that, yeah. But after after all this time, what made you take the plunge, finally? Okay, so... Well, obviously, I, I you, could, you can just tell by looking at her, but... Right, she's not very pretty, so I was like, no one's gonna marry her. Yeah. And I was like, I feel bad for people like that. And so since I'm a nice person, I was like, look, ugly girl, come over here. Stop, wipe your ugly eyes off and stop crying. Yep. Are you crying because boys won't talk to you? Look at how pretty she is. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, she's gorgeous. She's right over here, yeah. <laughs> but he got her first name. Yeah. Give him a really cool first name. Hey! hey. Something like... Um, you see, she is kind of scary looking. You know what I'm saying? Terrible. Like Terrifying. I, I, I'm, I'm just really happy you, you, you got with her after all this time because, like, if you didn't do it, I don't know, I don't know who else would. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but other, other than that, man, I just wanted to come by and say I, I love you guys, man. You too, buddy. I, I, I know I'm, I'm late. We're friends. I, I know I'm late to the party, but I just wanted to, you know, come by to show Always my love, late man. to the party. Yeah. Always, always late. Always, always. Well, we just left my uh, my friend's get together at his house, and look what we see on the street over here in Hollywood. Another Angeline poster. Remember that video we did with her? Do you guys remember that video that uh, Aaron and I, you know, made with Angeline? It was like a year ago or more. Yeah, or more. Yeah. Damn, like some of the stuff that we've done, like it seems like it was, it was just a couple <laughs> days ago, but it was like years ago, Jesus. But if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out, link down below, if I remember to put the link there. Well guys, the last stop of the night is the Coral Cafe out here in Burbank, California. Let's head on in and get some grub. Food just arrived, you're still waiting. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> we you got your soup right here. You got your broccoli and stuff. You trying to be a little healthier or something? Uh, I, I got the chicken tortilla oh, soup here. Yeah. Which is not really healthy. Yeah. But then I got this, which is kind of healthy. Sort of, without, the, you should have got the, put the cheese on it. The cheese on it, I got it, it's okay. But, you know. but I just got, you know, eggs and bacon and, you know, pancakes and shit. Well guys, we've come down to the end of our little late night adventure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that thumbs up button letting us know you care. Dropping a comment down below letting us know, you know, what you guys been up to 
you know this week and uh make sure you guys follow us on social media links will be down below to all that jazz and to of course the movie we made together an hour to kill that's now on amazon if you guys want to check it out links will be down below to like the trailer and stuff because me him made a movie with luda gabriel and stuff i know we've talked about it before but if you guys want to check it out show us some love and uh we'll see you guys next time